time this season. A driver's been a first-time winner. Tempers after the race, after that last huge crash. Greg Biffle, Boris said. And I tell you that cooler heads prevailed, but I'm not sure that's actually the case yet. Shannon? Nick Harrison, crew chief for Boris, said, obviously we saw Boris involved in that last accident with uh, David Reagan, but you said that may not have been the reason that led to the uh, altercation with Greg Biffle. What did cause that? The altercation with Biffle, um, Boris has had a problem with, um, I, actually I think Biffle's had a problem with Boris from a previous race, so leading into this race, they already had some aggression towards each other. Early in the race, Biffle had ran out of gas and was on multiple laps down and was racing Boris. As Boris thought dirty, so Boris relayed a message to the spotter that he wanted to meet him after the race. And, and the deal with the six car was just hard racing. I think uh, Boris just got into him, and that was a really ugly wreck. And I think that was just uh, hard racing. But uh, Greg Biffle and Boris said um, have some problems there, and Boris wanted to handle it with his fist. So that's what was going on. All right. Thanks, guys. All right, Shannon, thanks. Uh, Boris said uh, we caught him earlier for this comment. Uh, walk us through those last couple laps because clearly it was a it was a little chaotic. It was crazy. I mean, the last lap, the six car was getting into me a lot, and I didn't want to wreck him. It just I, I had to stay on the track, and he didn't give me any room. It just, you know, we both collide. I, that's the only thing I feel bad about. I'm just I'm more upset with Greg Biffle. He's the most unprofessional little scaredy cat I've ever seen in my life. He wouldn't even fight me like a man after. So if someone texts me his address, I'll go see him Wednesday at his house and show him, show him what he really needs. He needs a, he needs a friggin' whooping, and I'm going to give it to him. He was flipping me off, giving the finger, totally unprofessional, two laps down. I mean, he's a chump. When we saw what happened, and we'll walk us through exactly what happened in the garage, we kind of walked in the middle. I went over there to go talk to him. He wouldn't even let me get out of the car, and he comes over and throws a few little baby punches, and then when I get out, he runs away and hides behind some big guys, but he, he won't hide from me long. I'll, I'll find him. I won't settle it out in the track. It's not right to wreck cars, but we'll show up at a race with a black eye one of these days. I'll see him somewhere. That was ESPN the Magazine reporter Ryan McGee uh, asking the questions there in that. So, uh, obviously, tempers uh, flaring between Biffle and Boris said uh, as a result not just of this race there's a lot going on there apparently yeah that's the thing we never know is how far back these things do go uh, these two drivers obviously have had a history and uh, Boris is ready to settle that that's, history he wasn't making any bones about it I mean he is not very happy but there was a lot going on that last lap and you know he, he said he ran out of room with David Reagan and that was just a racing accident and and I have to believe him it looked kind of that way but uh, you know, those, those uh, the Roush guys were not happy after the race. Summing up the bigger picture on the day, intense racing, yes. Tremendous fight for the win, yes. We also saw some nasty accidents today. Yeah, and, and I think it exposed some problems with this racetrack as we try to modernize all of these tracks.